Hello there. Ooh, what's up gamers, gamies, and game ads? My name is John and welcome to Winter's Empty Mass. Created by uh created by the Eternal Night Studios. They have made a bunch of other series of winters, but I don't I didn't even know which one to start, so I just started the newest one that they the Winter's Empty Mass. Uh, you can also play it like, yeah, this is a demo version, also s support them on the Kickstarter, make this game go green like 2 and freaking make it a full game, this is a demo. And by the way, you can play it in Espanol, English, or Russian. So, woo, there you go, available for those three languages for right there. In this story, I'm gonna tell you what the sniffis is. is. Is some people say that we have three masks. The first mask is one we show to the world. The second one is uh, reserved for our family and close friends. And the third mask is only known to our real selves. Supposedly, it is the truest reflection of who we are. But in truth, the third mask is only what we think of ourselves. We humans only know about the deception. Um and almost no one knows their real face which they hide behind their own ma that damn that's some deep shit to be honest that is actually true in a way that that uh, that is actually freaking true that is that's deep all right so this is the story is this story is set in manuji a fictional store uh, fictional city with a high crime rate it is not uncommon that they're here of, of deaths <clears throat> and missing persons every morning in the news report but even among these issues, there is a figure in urban legend that stands above all, an assassin known as the nickname Red. <laughs> his, his murders are the most brutal and unexplainable, <clears throat> with all the victims being found with broken organs or in bones, damn, and with their insides reduced to the bloody pulp. The protagonist, Ichiro, is a young man who has recently moved to Manjiri and discovers that there are still many more issues to be uncovered Such a scary in a, such a scary place. Ah, right, so I found this on little ichi.io, so I'm gonna go with English. Ooh, here we go. And we're gonna start this story. Let's go. Don't forget to support them on their... Oh, oh well, hello. You kind of remind me of an Akani, in a way, or some other characters. Alright, I'm gonna change my camera. Give me a second, guys. Well, there you are. I don't know why is the X there, but whatever. Continue options. Alright, let's start this. Transition. Alright. Chapter 1, A World Without Colors. Oh well, this is a new little function. All right, it's on the it's horizontal. The world is so noisy. Oh, people walk around me, all uh, making all kinds of sounds. I like that. I like that. Oh my god, their footsteps, their phones and toys they carry, their voices when they when speaking. They walk next to me without paying me any attention, as if I was invisible or we were in separate worlds. Each one, each one continues on its own ex existence, following its way like drops of water in a river, swept away by the current. Meanwhile, I see them coming and going with the passage of time, without doing anything. Despite being in a park, I am not playing. I feel no desire to do it, it's just tiresome. So instead, I'm sitting on a bench waiting for someone to come for me. My blood-red eyes have an empty look as <laughs> oh, as if they belong to a doll. All meat said that that I am a doll and not a living being. Yuki is a doll unable to smile, frozen with an internally empty expression on her face. Changing that impossible because nothing in this world could inspire an emotion in me. Trying to find it to make me tired. My legs get tired of walking. My hands are of fighting and carrying dead weight. My mind of thinking ideas that deliver nothing to the in the end. It's just a waste. That's why I prefer to do nothing instead. Just stay seated watching people silently go. Though to my eyes they look more like shadows. I cannot distinguish a single face between them. They are all the <laughs> they are all of the same. The same face, the same shape, the same voice, the same color. It was as if everyone was a flat gray silhouette with this just sizes and shapes slightly changing. With a face I cannot distinguish or feel 
is worth remembering. There is nothing inside of them. Or perhaps it is the opposite and I am the one who does not have a face but a mask. And that is why I cannot see others. Their personalities are there. It's only that I cannot understand them. They belong to another dimension, a world I don't know how eat to enter. Transition. Oh well, Yuki is a doll. You want to let me change my like face cam somewhere else? There you guys go, like freaking creepy girl. Like at the oh good creepy girl or whatever. I I didn't. All right, Yuki is a doll. From the from my point of view, they are shadows. But when they look at me, surely they see a doll without a face. Who would buy such an ugly doll like, uh, like as this one? I know I wouldn't. Transition. I change it. Time passes that it's already getting dark. One of my family's maids offers me her hand and tells me it's time to return home. The person who I was waiting did who for <coughs> the person sorry the person who I was waiting for didn't appear. I'll just have to come back tomorrow. This will be the 26th day that this happened. Wijo Sama, let's go back home. She says, without any emotion, but in a respectful way. Clearly, she, she did not care for me. She only looked after me because of those were her orders. Yes, I said coldly. The truth is, I did not want to return to my house. But I have no other place to go, and it was more comfortable there than staying here. Transition. Momoji. The city where I live. Called like the, <laughs> that because of the fallen leaves in autumn. Every year they fall and create a beautiful scene that draws visitors from mil miles away around. Even people from outside the country come to visit and see the leaves fall. There are those who even think it compare to spring festival the cherry blossom bloom to my eyes the leaves have no color and seeing them fall is nothing special it's us almost the same as watching the rain or snow just in occurrence something that happens for a murder um, <clears throat> mundane reason but I have to confess though that I have sometimes stayed for hours watching them fall whenever it leaves rain or snow, simply because it was less boring than watching a, an aesthetic object. Although murders, assaults, thefts, burglaries, and other crimes happen often in Momoji, the city of a strong economy and the population only grows every year. Transition. Oh my god. Winter's Empty Mask. I'm probably blocking it. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. oh, we get clouds now! Now it is autumn and I watch the leaves fall in silently with elegance while children play in the park and their mothers chit chat nearby. I guess a gust of wind suddenly blows, moving leaves and rustling my hair short and black. That day I was wearing a white dress. My empty eyes, like those of a doll, looked out of the front of, with the face of a devoid of emotion. I looked at the children playing because they were before me, not because I wished to play with them. You should let it grow. Huh? Suddenly a voice t uh, takes me out of my thoughts. He stands right in front of me. A boy with black hair and small smile on his face. Huh. He kind of reminds me of fucking- I forgot that kid's name from Mickey City uh, actors. Like that kid wearing the bl like blue. I your hair should, uh, your hair. You should let it grow. He says it with joy as if we were, we were already friends. Ah, No, I don't like long hair. An answer without even looking at his face and using the coldest of the roughest voice I had. I want him to know that his presence was not appreciated. Damn, you cold ass dick! <laughs> Alright, there is a brief silence. He doesn't stop blocking my vision. Whenever I move my eyes, he also moves to block again. It's shame. You should look very pretty. You look very pretty. I like girls with longer hair better. He again spoke with confidence, completely ignoring my hints. Why would I care about that? 
Why would I care about what the flat shadow like him likes or dislikes? Just go back to your world and pretend I don't exist as if I was an ugly toy banding on the bench. Da 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 da. Come on, Yuki. Alright. This time, I do not answer. I just remain quiet, waiting for him to get bored and go away. But strangely, that does not happen. He keeps staring at me, waiting for my every action. <laughs> you don't have any toys? He said, looking at my empty hands. Suddenly, he smiles. If you want, I can lend you mine. Enough. I say with a low voice. It seems that he didn't hear me and put on a confused expression. Why don't you just leave me alone? I angrily said. The boy is surprised and stays silent. His expression turns serious and I hope that he may leave in the next second, but instead... You're always alone. I'm worried about you. <laughs> Hearing that makes me feel cold. Yeah, you do. My very f soul freezes at the moment of his words. It didn't feel like he was lying or joking. The way he said it sounded so genuine, filled with worry and kindness. The boy's answer was very strange. What was that? An anomaly in this world without color? If I myself do not care for what could happen to me, why should he care? Oh. Doesn't that make you sad? Don't you want to make any friends? He says with a serious and honest tone. No, I like to be alone. My answer is cold, but I feel a little confused. This is the first time anyone said something like that to me. Never before I had a shadow stepped out of its own world to reach me by its own will. That's okay, but I think you would have more fun if you had a friend. Don't be shy, not everyone is bad. Exactly, not everyone is bad. He ends with a kind smile, very pure. I feel something move inside of me. I wasn't happy by any means. I was afraid. The anomaly was scary. It felt like it could shatter my world. Da 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 da. Again, I do not answer, but this time my face had an expression on it. I was acting shy. I stayed quiet, not because I wanted him to get bored and leave, but because I could not answer honestly. I just didn't know how. This child suddenly hears something. He turns and waves his hand at a woman who appeared to be his mother. Well, I have to go. I often come to play at to this park. Just in case someday you want to talk. Aw, Ichiro! Oi! Oh! Oh! And by the way, my name is- Oh, okay, that's his name. That's the main character's name. Oh! And by the way, my name is uh, Tanaka Ichiru. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, just saying. He gives me one last smile, and with that, he began and begins to walk away without even receiving an answer from me. Oh, that's cute. None of the two could have known it, but that would be the la my last day in the park. Transition. Damn. Whiteness. Winter's Empty Mask. I like that. It's kind of like an episode. I'm sorry I'm blocking it, but you know what it's going on if you guys play the game. Oh my god. That's kind of cool. Transition. Time passed as usual with nothing worthy of notice. It was getting dark. I saw how slowly people were leaving the park until it was completely empty. Wait, is this part of Kev Kevin McLean's one of the Ghost Apocalypse one? Music soundtrack in the background? I believe so, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. Anyways. Alright, it was getting dark. I saw how- Okay, no, I already read that. Alright. Oh, God. Are you alone? Oh, fuck. Berries. Said an unknown man leaning so I can see his eyes. I nod, but that was a lie. There is always someone watching me. What's your name? Ask with a fake friendliness, so fake it was almost laughable. Kurosawa Yuki. I answer, showing no emotion, no fear, sadness, or distress. Come with me, I'll help you find your mother. He then said with a nasty smile at the same time, then he pulls my hand. 
Without any resistance, I follow him. Oh god, the man leads me through an unknown street. Wait, I thought someone was watching him. What happened to the wait maid? Holy crap. The man leads me to this unknown street. As we walked, he was taken talking about how he would help me to find my parents and that I shouldn't be afraid. But I do not listen to him. It was boring. For nearly 40 minutes, we walked along dark and unknown streets until finally he stopped at a dead end. Dirty with a foul stench in the air and full of trash bags. Oh my god, no. Some that appeared to have opened by an animal or bum to check its contents. The expression of the man's who up to now had only shown a fitch kindness change has become an aggressive and dominant. A man with short black hair, no mustache or beard and wearing casual clothes. Just gray shadow like the others. Oh my god. Hey, Yuki-chan, how about before we find your parents, we have a little fun? Oh my god, no. Yuki better beat the hell out of him, man, Sa says the man with a nasty look, his eyes set on me. I don't- a bad touch, I need an adult! Bad touch! <laughs> no, I mean we should have a little fun. Let's have fun, Yuki, because it may be the last time. Oh my god. As soon as he finished talking, he puts his hands over me and starts to undress. Oh my god, this ain't good. As a reflect, I move my hands to stop this. Stop his. It was unpleasant, disgusting. It was already bothered me to be touched, and the way he did only made me feel even more uncomfortable. But even then, I couldn't show any an emotion in my face. The strength of the man overpowers me with ease. There is no struggle. My small hands were no match for his. His expression shows a great lust, a hunger, and a huge desire to touch me. What? Are you not gonna cry? Suddenly, as the man dawned in lust, drowned in lust, I just denied shaking my head. My response seemed irritated him. <clears throat> my res uh, and he slaps my face. The sound echoes in the entire alley. What a cruel shadow, but still boring. My left cheek turns red, I silently hold hold it. I'll reflect with showing any pain. Still don't want to cry? He said with a dominant and mocking voice. This time I do not respond, afraid of a second slap, or perhaps more because of discomfort more than fear. Even if an unwanted pain was a fundamental part of my life, I didn't want to hate it. It was only that I find it unpleasant and would rather avoid it as impossible. The fuck? My lack of response was not well taken. However, the man suddenly smiles and with a complete security. What? He then made a flame appear on his hand. The fire was silently, slightly floating, about a centimeter above the skin of his palm. Huh. Well, he smiles confident, knowing that he could cause me a lot of pain with the power he had. An inhuman power. If I burned your face, I'm sure you would get some beautiful tears out of you. A disgusting threat, but very real. But you can't. I answered lacking emotion, simply bored even when facing the promise of torture. What the freak is wrong with you, Yuki? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and why is that? He asked, still showing a nasty and playful smile on his face. Because if you do, if you did that, I would become ugly and you wouldn't want me to touch me anymore. My answer is too serious and logical for how tense the situation was. As if it was a joke, the man suddenly starts laughing loudly. I see now, I see. You're a girl with a mental uh, retardation. Oh my god, and your parents abandoned you in that park. How pitiful. Pitiful. What a disgusting image he had made of me, I thought. But I didn't mind. What a shadow thought of me of is no importance. Ignoring my feelings or pain, it would cause me. He simply continued his plans, looking for his own pleasure to expand my welfare. What he did to me was disgusting. N -n 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 like nothing I ever felt before. Hmm. Feeling it invade my body, infect me with his existence was unpleasant beyond words, but I did not did nothing to stop it. I couldn't even 
if I wanted. Within minutes, he stopped talking. Only groans, uh, groans came from him that couldn't be called words and the sound of uh, agitated breathing. Someone asked, he's so gross, this shadow is disgusting that I could not begin to describe it. I just wanted to be over, waited patiently for it. It was then I saw the sign that I was looking for. Finally, the moment in which my attacker was more distracted and vulnerable. In instant, I remove a long metal needle, and, and that was hidden within my own flesh, and and buried it in the neck of my attacker. Oh my God! Naturally, I point pointing it at the most uh, valuable vein of the neck. There's no way it could have worked. I know that he would have noticed to stop me in time. At least that would have been in the case, but he's been paying attention. Now he has lost in, him, in, on, <clears throat> in his own world. He is soon going to die. Oh, get right. Immediately with the wound starts to bleed. All the precious red blood is pouring out of the body covered of both. My white and clean face was now covered by blood. A doll's inexpressive face is stained by blood. As a reflex, he tries to push me away. We barely move, just enough to separate us. Now, he doesn't look as happy or dominant, but furious. He hated me and cursed me with his eyes, but that would hardly produce anything in me. Yep, damn whore. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna stop it off for right here for right now. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen next time. So without further ado, guys, I hope you guys have a good night, good evening, good morning from wherever from. So peace out and sign out, guys. Bye bye.